So my ice machine hasn't been working in probably over a year. So I decided, you know, it's getting warm outside, might as well get my ice machine working. So what I did is I came in here and I was gonna take all this apart. All this. As you can see, it doesn't produce ice. And then this works. The water thing works. So I was like, it's gotta be the ice machine. Well, before you end up tearing all this apart, go down, keep going all the way down, all the way to the bottom. And look at this crap. Okay, here we are. So I did all this research. I was gonna replace some stuff and I found one post that talked about the wires at the bottom. So sure enough, I come down here, and look at this. There's like six or seven wires that are cut. And what it does, see if I can put the hammer down. If you look, as the door opens and closes, if it focuses, it literally pulls those wires. Don't mind all the dog hair on the thing. Obviously, I gotta clean that. Look at that. That's my issue. So I'm just opening and closing the door, and then after a while, it just pulls those wires. So what I'm gonna do is just cut the wires, extend the wires, put it all back together, and be good to go. So what I'm gonna do is take off this bottom. There's couple bolts here and it's not focusing um, take that off and then go ahead and replace the stuff okay just to show you guys um, here's when the fridge opens and you can see right here's the wires uh, just a suggestion I haven't turned the power off yet you may want to turn the power off before you start splicing wires anyway I'm just gonna show you in the video before I start getting in action you can see here, just as the, the door is open 90 degrees right now, and you can already see these wires are separated. So if you open it a little more, well that's why these things are cut. They're not cut, they're just ripped right apart. Here's where the door's all the way open as far as it can go. And look at the gap on there. That's ridiculous. Anyway, oh, sorry. I'm making you sick or not. So anyway, I was going to cut these wires, extend it. But if you look at it, I took this cover off here. You can see a lot more. Look at this. Here's the wire right here. As it comes through, see the see this wire right here? That's the same wire. All they do is have it jammed back in there. It had plenty of wire. Look at this. I'm just gonna pull it out. Cause it's, it's kinked back there. <laughs> Look at all that wire. Come on, Whirlpool, you can do a better job. So, Anyway, there was plenty of wire here, and look at that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this little wire protector off. There's gonna be plenty of wire where I can splice this together. Um, it's gonna be hard up here, so I'm gonna take this apart, try to get a little extra wire, but there's not gonna be much wire to work with on this side, but there's plenty on this side. So then I'm just gonna keep this wire out and that should give me enough remember turn the power off before you mess with this stuff so when you reach in here just make sure you're not getting the wire oh the power is turned off at the circuit breaker for the fridge
So what I'm trying to do is just cut this so I have more room to work on the wires. So as you put this in here, just make sure you're not getting another wire. It'll cause you more work. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Four. And I'm gonna have to cut that red one. Well, actually it's already cut, it's barely hanging on. Five. Gonna have to do that brown one, so that's six. You have to do that one too. Seven. So there's seven wires. Um, so what I was looking for is up here. You want to look if there's if it's already thin because that's where it's been bending. That sucks. Seven wires. Okay, so just to show you guys, the door is closed, obviously. Um, this wire is pulled out where I showed you earlier. So you can see, now there's extra get, there's extra wire. And when that cover's on, it's going to be like this. So as you open the door, even though I'm not adding wire, I'm just pulling out from where they did it in the factory. You can see now, when the door's open... This is going to move back and forth because there's plenty of wire now. So, oops, here's where it's all the way open. So I'll show you when I'm done. Obviously, it's not going to be like this. Okay, so I got it off. What I'm going to do is cut these wires. I'm going to strip these. This side is going to be a pain in the butt. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish cutting this so I have more room. Make sure you only get the plastic. And you gotta work, work kind of fast so you don't lose all your freezer stuff since the door is open. Yep, that light brown one, I don't know if you can see what it's cut. Okay, you don't have much room to work with here. So this little tab here, just get something sharp, push it down. And then it comes off. Then you'll have more wire here to mess with because I'm going to have to cut it up here so I can put the two together. Okay guys, let me just show you. I fixed the wires, connected them here. When you open it up all the way, you can see it's loose. Um, just to show you over here, turn it here. I ended up taking this off. Remember how I showed you you pry here? Um, so I ended up taping, connected the wires together, taped them all together, and they're actually inside here. There's a, a good big ball of it. I was able just to jam it in here. Um, and there's plenty of slack here in the wire. So now when you open and close it, it doesn't bind up. And that's all the way open right there. So I think I'm good to go. Uh, if you found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe, like. Um, I've got other videos you can check out. Basically anything that fails around my house, I'll just go ahead and fix it. Save me some money, so hopefully it saves you some money. There we go. Alrighty.
like I said, it takes a little while to get the ice. Um, so we'll check it again in the morning. But there's four more cubes than there were when I started. That's good news. Okay, thanks.